I'm about to install the Beta 2 version of Kubuntu 13.04 um, the desktop version for AMD 64 I'm just recording it in case it's any use to someone I'm about to install it on my 3 year old PC um, it's got a 1.5 terabyte hard drive and two SSD drives um, one of the SSD drives is empty and I want to install uh, Kubuntu 13.04 uh, on it. I have checked the disks for defects and made a backup of all my data just in case. Um, and I've printed out the partition tables of my hard drive in case I need it to manually partition during the install. Um, all right, let's get going. I think you'll press Start Kubuntu to start the installer. So I'm not sure. Let me check. Mode, no. Other options. No, I'll just start. The video card that's in the system is an um, NVIDIA video card. It's a GeForce GFX 670 um, with currently dual screen output um, over DVI. So I hope that will work. Currently just loading all the files from the CD um, so we can start the installer. I think it doubles as a live CD, so you might be able to just try it from the from the CD itself. There we go. Um English and I want to install it. Okay, I've got enough space on my disks. Um, the computer is connected to the internet via a wired cable, um, so I don't have to configure the wireless during the installer. I would like to install third party software as well and download updates while installing. OK, continue. It's not very responsive. I'm not sure if it's stuck. Uh, 
Uh, it seems to be stuck. Maybe it's stuck on downloading the updates. I'm just going to retry that with the checkboxes unchecked. It seems to be booting into the live environment, so hopefully we can install from here as well, and it might work this time. Okay, let's try that again. Install Kubuntu. English, continue. I'll uncheck the checkboxes this time. Continue. I'm just going to have a look at the system logs. So <coughs> you can press Alt plus F2 to bring up the quick the quick search bar um, system log case system log to view the system logs okay The last managers are the process part man, presumably partition manager, followed by NTFS resize. Um, my 1.5 terabyte hard drive, I've got a Windows installation, so perhaps it's getting confused. Let's have a look in the file browser. So we've got Dolphin, the file manager, and I'm going to quit this installer. Maybe it will help if I mount the hard drives. But it clearly looks like a bug in the installer. Um, okay, the Windows drive I will mount. Let's try that again. English. Let's try the third-party software and download the updates. Okay, we've got mounted partitions. We can have the installer try to unmount the partitions or leave them mounted. And I think if we don't unmount, it might skip certain checks. Hopefully that will get, get us past the prepare stage into the disk setup. So I'm going to try no. Ah, is it hanging?
You can still hear the DVD drive spinning, so I'll just give it a few minutes. No, I think that hasn't worked. I'm just going to try mounting all of them. Let's try that again. English. Let's keep the third party software and downloading updates while installing. Uh, hopefully this will work. Excellent. Okay, we seem to have skipped the prepare stage, so we're at the disk setup stage now. Um, what are the options? There's an option between guided and manual. We have three guided options using the entire disk. Two of the options allow you to set up LVM and encrypted LVM. Um, I'm not interested in manual setup. Hopefully that, that's going to be my last resort. So I'm going to go for guided using the entire disk, which I want. <clears throat> it seems to have selected my SSD drive that isn't empty unfortunately so that's a quite quite a poor default um, would have been a safer suggestion to pick the unallocated partition on the other SSD drive let's have a look they're all listed okay so the other SSD drive has an empty B4 space so 100% free space, 120 gig. Afterwards, it will be entirely taken up by Kubuntu. Um, that's the option I want. Install now. Okay, United Kingdom. US keyboard. Um, username and password. Um, set up the computer name and let's just log in automatically the home PC. Okay, I'm happy with that. Next step. Okay, so this is copying the files from the DVD drive and starting the installation. I will give it a few minutes. Okay, the installation is finished. the option to restart now so it looks like it's all installed on the SSD drive um, let's hope the bootloader has been installed and hopefully it has been it has recognized the Windows partition as well as the old Linux partition um, and of course the new Kubuntu 13.04 partition Okay, let's restart now and eject the DVD drive.
DVD ejected, restarting. The Grub bootloader has come up. Um, it's got the option Ubuntu, um, advanced options for Ubuntu and memory test. So it looks like my Windows partition and my old Kubuntu options are not in the menu. Um, maybe that's related to the um, to the installer bug that had to do with the disks. Um, maybe the workaround made it that it couldn't detect the operating systems, or maybe it's just another bug. Um, also it lists Ubuntu instead of Kubuntu, so that would be nice to have changed. Um, Alright, let's see if it boots. Okay, it booted really quickly. Um, the DVD is here, so it's booted from the hard disk. It looks like it's all installed properly, no errors on startup. Let's have a quick look in the system log. So Alt F2 brings up the search bar. Um, system log, case system log for the long viewer. Lots of info messages, I don't see any errors or warnings. 